Hello everyone. Today I'm doing something which I've never done before. Every single video I've ever reviewed has been on YouTube, but today we're popping over to Facebook and taking a look at a video by a Chez Adams. Why would you do this, I hear you ask? Why would you take a look at a video from another platform? Well, Chez Adams is a lady who has had what she calls a mystical awakening. Need I say more? Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Four Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, today this really is a true Tin Four Tuesday because the video we're reviewing was ready-made for this series. Let's join Shez from her Facebook Live last week and see what she's all about, shall we? Well, hello there, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I just wanted to come in front of you all and share something, as I usually love to do. That's ominous, isn't it? Having a great day as well, by the way. I made a video some time back and I, um... Uh, are you okay? I don't know. Oh, there you are, okay. I made a video back a while ago sharing what I had found when I wrapped my phone in tinfoil. You did what now? Um, due to EMF poisoning from our phones and my research. Oh my days. I can't keep... Um... Dear, I did... Give me a minute. <sighs> okay, continue. Um, I shared it with a doctor and she's like, yeah, you're right. The same symptoms for COVID and radiation poisoning are similar. The same symptoms for COVID and radiation poisoning are similar. What bloody doctor was this? First off, I don't remember seeing a high temperature, a cough, or a change in taste or smell in the list of symptoms for EMF poisoning. Secondly, let's remember that EMF stands for electromagnetic field, and mobile phones are responsible for a very small band of the EMF radiation we experience in the world today. Well, I went before her and I went before the board of the hospital and asked if I could please gather doctors together and was told because of social distancing that was unable. And it doesn't make sense to me since this could be a link. Were there so many things that were like right on between the, the symptoms of COVID versus radiation poisoning from our phone? Like what? Which symptoms? Could it be... Could it have been just so many things were perfect straight on? Maybe it could, but I'll tell you what is solid that it couldn't be is, here we go again. I feel so called to share this. You see these, you guys? I have an 11 plus phone and I wrap it and I don't just wrap it for an hour or two. I keep it wrapped 24 seven. Um, and when I don't have the face of it open, I put a cage of it around it to protect the EMFs from coming towards me because I can feel it. Hey Shez, I've got news for you. You are still exposed to EMF radiation even if you do that. The EMF from the mask all around you, your Bluetooth devices, your Wi-Fi, power lines, your laptop, etc, etc. I want to share with you, this is two weeks two weeks worth of tinfoil. There's a whole lot more. I have a pile here. This is this is something please take seriously. Um, when I go out, I share it with everyone. I need some medical community to please take a serious look. Wrap your phones, not just for an hour. Take it, wrap it for two or three days if you need to, because I want you to be safe. And um, I have an 11 plus and I don't know if I'm by 5G towers because I definitely have found an association between the pandemic, October going up in China, November in New York and December in California and the association between radiation poisoning and COVID. Only 34 countries have 5G and over 180 countries have the coronavirus. There is no connection. France is one of the worst hit countries in Europe and they don't have 5G. 
and you have to look it up. As I mentioned, you can't say, sim you have to look up the symptoms COVID and then go radiation poisoning in each symptom. And I beseech you all to do that for yourself because when we love ourselves, it's our responsibility to, as you know, to take care of yourself. I have to take care of myself and then to share with others. And so my medical community, please wrap your phones, not for an hour, but for a couple of days. iPhones omit the most. Um, and then your other ones, I'm not sure about, they're right below it, but they still omit. So please wrap your phones and leave them like that for a day or two. Actually, if you look into it, you'll find that a lot of the Chinese phones emit more than an iPhone. And even then, it's not that much, or at least not that powerful. I again show this graph. This graph shows the incidences of cancer versus mobile phone subscriptions. As you can see, there is no correlation. Hold it up to the light and see what you find, um, because this needs to be brought to out. I mean, if this is association and it's exact because who in the world wraps their phone in tinfoil? That would be me. Yeah. It does seem a bit extreme, especially when it's understood that EMF does not cause COVID-19. Um, it, I looked it up. That's why it said aluminum foil blocks EMFs. That's why I did it. I didn't know the results were going to be this. So if this could make a, if this could be a game changer, um, by all means, I do not understand why the medical community wouldn't want me to give a you know, presentation with accurate as possible information and in my findings and my hours and hours and hours of research and my personal experience. But do know, those are real holes in that tinfoil. That's not a 50% chance, that's 100. That's solid, solid evidence, you guys. I have not seen any evidence whatsoever that EMF radiation breaks down a substance like tin foil. I would postulate that the constant crumbling of the tin foil weakens it and as such allows the light to pass through. So I beseech you, wrap your phones in tin foil, any medical community, if you'd like to reach out, I'd be more than glad to share what I know. And I would ask you to please share this information forward as I think it could help protect people as it causes radiation poisoning, causes cancer of every kind. And since our 5G towers went up, my phone has obviously become stronger because my tinfoil within a day or two already has holes in it. Well, that's funny because the iPhone 11 is not 5G compatible. That's awkward, even cringeworthy. So please protect yourselves and do it for yourself. Um, I have an 11 plus, like I mentioned, Apple, and please do share it out. So before I got totally shaked awake um, since October about uh, the world we live in and all the research that I've done about that, I'm actually very spiritual. I teach classes on how to be a healthy, happy, empowered empath. Oh, I'm out. This is certainly for another video. Maybe we'll check out her empath ability soon, hey? Well, there we go. The lady who literally wraps her phone in tinfoil. Amazing. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, then please, please do like and subscribe. It'd be thoroughly appreciated. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow for some more physics. See you then.